is what their end behavior looks like. Okay, the end behavior is also called long run behavior. And it's what happens to the graph at the extreme left and the extreme right at the, at the ends of their graphs. Okay, and there's four rules that follow. Basically, it's two rules. Okay, and the rules are based on whether your uh, highest power is an odd number or an even number, okay, meaning is, is your expression odd or uh, even degree. And then uh, whether it has a positive or a negative leading coefficient. So based on sort of the, um, the combinations of those or the intersections of those, we can identify what happens to our graphs. And we're going to start with odd degrees. Okay, and even if you don't remember this when you're taking a quiz or a test, you should be able to recreate these pretty quickly. The simplest odd degree function that you can imagine is y equals x, right? x to the first power. And so if you were to sketch the graph of this, that graph would look like this. Okay, so what we can do is we can base our rules on that. If we have this odd degree with a positive leading coefficient, what do we expect the right behavior, long run behavior to do? It goes up and to the right, right? And what do we expect our left behavior to do? It goes down to the left. Now, you're not sure what's going to happen in between. I mean, it's possible, and if I sketch these, it's possible that there's some change in directions. It might just be a straight line. Okay, but what you see here is what the, the end behavior looks like. Now, if I were to use my reflection rules on this and put a negative out in front, so if I took y equals negative x, now that's going to flip my graph vertically over this x-axis. And so this new graph here, the inverted graph, or the, the reflected graph, and now becomes this negative out front. And so now we can see it our left and right behavior. To the left, we go up. To the right, we go down. Again, not sure what's going to happen in between. Okay, there could be other things that happen in change of directions. I'm using dashed lines just to represent it's some unknown relationships at this point. But what we do know is if there is a negative leading coefficient and it's an odd degree, that our end behavior, our long run behavior, looks like this. And what about even functions? When we look at an even function, the simplest even function, or even degree uh, function that we can find is y equals x squared. And so if you looked at the graph of y equals x squared, what you're looking at is this parabola, this U-shaped graph. And here, what you're uh, kind of interested in on this is what happens at our end behavior. Okay, and so we see here for an even degree uh, graph or an even degree function with a positive leading coefficient, our outside behavior, our end behavior is going to go up and to the right, go or left, up and to the right. Again, we're not sure what's going to happen in here. There might be changes of directions, maybe not. Might cross underneath, uh, maybe not. But we do know that the left and right behavior are both going to go up. Okay, and then finally, if we were to take this and, uh, again, apply the rules, transformation rules of reflection, put a negative in front of that. So you have an even degree, but a negative leading coefficient. That's going to reflect this graph down. And so now we know that the left and right behavior are going to point down. <coughs> Something else might happen in between, but we do know that the long run behavior is going to open down. Okay. So one of the things that you're going to be asked to do, like if uh, you are C graphs, you should be able to identify based on what the graph looks like. You should be able to say, all right, this is going to be an even powered function. Right? If the both ends open up or both ends open down, if it's a both opens ends open up, it's an even degree with a positive leading coefficient. If they both open down, it's even degree with a negative leading coefficient. If they're in opposite directions, then you know it's going to be an odd. Uh, highest power is going to be an odd number. And so if it's a positive, it'll open up to the right, down to the left. And if it's negative, it'll open up to the left, down to the right. So those are your rules. Now, those rules are going to be written in a couple different ways. One visually, which hopefully makes sense here. 
but they're also going to be uh, written with some arrow notations that look like the following. It's going to ask you as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches what? Right? And here they might ask as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches what? And you're going to be asked to solve what is the long run behavior. Right? And so what you need to be able to do is interpret what this means. So as x approaches infinity means as x's get bigger right, or move to the right on our graphs, what's happening to our f of x, our outputs or our y's? Are they getting closer to positive infinity or closer to negative infinity? As it moves up, it gets closer to infinity, right? right? And as we move down, as x moves to the left, as x moves toward negative infinity along the, the left side of this graph, what's our y's, what are our y's getting closer to? They're going down, so they're getting closer to negative infinity. Right? So what I want you to do here with these remaining uh, graphs is I want you to identify the long run behavior in this arrow notation. So as x approaches infinity, what's happening with f of x? As x is approaching negative infinity, what's happening? And I want you to find for each of these, please. So see if you can fill in uh, all the spots. Thank you. Fill in all these spots here uh, where there's highlights. Bless you. Okay, identifying what's happening in this long run behavior. And this is going to be true with all functions. And so it, what we're looking at here is how, how it works with these power functions. But these same rules are going to apply for uh, just functions in general.